I'm Neil Bartlett from Neil Bartlett Haulage, Coventry. So, Neil Bartlett, thanks for agreeing to be the next participant in our Life in Lorry series. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Okay. In this uh, fantastic 1947 Bedford O series, is it? That's it, yeah, yeah. One of your fully restored fleet, mostly Bedfords. Yeah. Nearly all Perkins. Yeah. We'll have a look at those later. Yeah. Okay, we'll get on with the questions if you're ready. Okay. Okay, let's start with the first question. What would you have done if you hadn't had a career in haulage? I would have had to work in a garage on lorries or had something to do with lorries because lorries was the thing I wanted to do. So what's been your proudest moment? It was definitely when we won the Truck Fest 1989, best fleet and best uh, rigid and second best rigid. And when they said the, for the, the best lorries on the roads of England today, fleet is Neil Bartlett Haulage. That, that was got to be, you know. <laughs> Quite an achievement, especially with yeah. working tippers. Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. And what's been your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment really was uh, uh, down at the bottom yard, they just finished the uh, um, new factory units and they just done the car park. And we were getting ready for truck fest and one of our drivers decided to go and clean his lorry on the new car park. The chap arrived who owned it, came to see me in the reception and we took a photo about a couple of weeks before uh, on the car park of the whole fleet and a bit cheeky really and he came in and he was going to have a go at me about the lorry being parked there and then he seen the photo in reception <laughs> and he went absolutely mad. Needless to say we sorted it and we rent some land off him now and we get on quite well so after 20 years um, All's been forgiven. All's been forgiven, yeah. That's good. But it was a bit embarrassing at the time. I know most of your uh, loads are sand and gravel and various building materials, but what's the strangest load you've ever carried? When I first started, we well, down in Somerset, I had an O-type Bedford for a little while. And uh, the strangest load, I think, was probably the first or second load I ever did. My dad decided to pack up keeping chickens and I loaded the chickens in live chickens in the back of the O-type chipper <laughs> and took them up to my uncles at Western Supermare. <laughs> I think that's about the strangest load. I've loaded nearly everything that you could load, but live chickens in a tip in a five ton tipper has got to be strange. Not so many animal welfare rules in those days. <laughs> they were in boxes, right, you know. <laughs> How good you didn't just put a net over the top. <laughs> no, no. So, dead or alive, which industry figure do you admire the most? Well, it's a choice between my Uncle Len or, or my dad. Uncle Len probably give me, because my dad went to Ireland and he didn't really want me to go into transport, but Uncle Len gave me the most support and the most information. And I learnt a lot from him, to be honest. Right, this Bedford, um, we don't have a logbook in the uh, in the little shelf no, in the back anymore, actually. but we do have your selection of uh, your three favourite photos. Yeah. Would you like to show them to us and explain why they mean so much to you? This is a favourite photo because it shows a cattle lorry in the 50s, it's pretty fair in Somerset, around about 52 I would think, 1952, and it's a Bedford O type. And is that the type that your father used to yeah, write? Yeah, that, that, that would be one of the lorries that we ran. And is that the one that um, your restored truck is based upon? Yeah, yeah. The second picture is me with two new lorries in 1978, which was quite an achievement for me to have putting two lorries on the road in the 1st of January 1978. That's a Volvo F86, the first Volvo F86 we had in the Leyland Clydesdale. We already had a couple of Clydesdales at that time. But that was um, quite a favourite picture, really, because it shows me younger me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you've been fairly loyal to the Volvo brand ever since then? Yeah, yeah. We, I would say we've always had Volvo. We 
scan you as well, like, but mostly Volvo, yeah. Picture number three is the embarrassing moment one. <laughs> <laughs> when we took the fleet in the car park next door to us and um, this was in the in the reception when he came in to give me a doing about the lorry being part there and when he seen this it <laughs> and we often laugh about it today okay neil and finally if you could do it all again would you yeah definitely definitely no i would not one out of that i wish i could go around again yeah <laughs> i've enjoyed it I, there's not many moments i haven't enjoyed in this business nice to be able to say that mm. Bill Bartlett, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Colin. Thank you.